In this lesson, you'll learn how to use sliders in the Graphs application. Let's start by creating a new document and insert a Graphs application. Sliders are often used to explore how a parameter affects the shape of the graph. Let's start with the most common example, y equals mx plus c. Press the delete key to remove the equal sign and select y equals. Now type m multiplied by x plus c. Then press enter. TI Inspire detects the items that are not yet defined the m and the c, our parameters, and invites us to create sliders. Press enter to accept the two new sliders. The sliders are grouped together and ready to be moved. Use the mouse to move over the sliders and pause when the mouse turns into a hand. Click and hold and then move the sliders to the top left corner of the screen and click. Then press escape to release the selection of the two sliders. Now move the mouse over the top slider, M. Click on it, then press Control and Menu. And then select Minimize. Repeat this with slider C. Make sure you don't click on the slider value as we want to select the slider, not edit its value. You can use the mouse to select and change a slider or just press the tab key to navigate around the various objects on the screen. Then when the slider is selected, you can just use the left and right arrow keys on the navigation pad to increase or decrease the slider value. Of course you can always just click on the arrow using the mouse. Notice that as the value of M is changed, the gradient or slope of the line changes accordingly. Now try slider C. This slider provides the Y intercept. Going back to slider M, notice that the graph sort of rotates around the Y intercept. Now let's explore a quadratic function. Press the document key and insert a new problem. The new problem means we can use any of the previous parameters since variables are not transferred between problems. Insert a graphs application and graph y equals a times bracket x minus h all squared plus k. This time we get three new sliders. Move them over a little and press escape. This time I'll leave the sliders in their standard form. So to adjust the slider, move the mouse over the slider marker, then click and hold to grip it. Now swipe your finger left and right to adjust the value. Notice that changing the value of A dilates the graph. And when it's negative, we also see a reflection. To release the grip, press escape. Now select slider H. Grip the slider marker and explore. The graph is translated parallel to the X axis. One more slider to go. We notice that each parameter, A, H and K, can be used to transform our quadratic function. Now let's see what happens if the squared sign is removed. Once again we see a linear function and A changes the gradient. But notice that it no longer rotates around the Y intercept. In fact, it's rotating around the point H, K. Try exploring graphs of a times x plus b times y equals c or y equals a times x minus m by x minus n and perhaps even standard form 
AX squared plus BX plus C. Remember, if you are exploring using just one document, insert a new problem each time just to avoid clashes between parameters. You can also use sliders in the geometry application and the notes application. But that's all for this session. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series.